Hello, good day and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at implementing interfaces. Now we look at that a little bit in the previous section, but today we're going to just start a review because in the previous section it was kind of a whirlwind tour of introducing interfaces and then showing you how you can implement it with our duck interface. But so we kind of slow down and do it slowly. All right, so slow down, do it slowly. So we're going to revisit it. So repetition helps you, um, you know, the idea sink in. So um, let's see. And so we're going to look at how to implement an interface, and that is by providing meta definitions for all for an interface. And so let's jump to the code. So I did our usual thing, copy the previous code that we had. And so the last time we had this person type, we had Indian runner, these two types of ducks, breeds of ducks, and then we had this duck interface. So I'm going to get rid of the whole duck interface and duck type for now. And I'm going to also get rid of this and that. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. And this. And so what I have left is just this type person and we're going to be implementing interface. Interfaces, and so we're talking about having an interface and implementing it. Now, if you remember, I told you that Go comes with the stringer interface, so type stringer, and it's an interface. And the interface defines a method called string, um, which returns a string. Right? That's all it, the, the stringer interface is. Now, it's okay for me to have this type because as we saw when we start out with type of type is if I have the same type or type definition in two different packages, those are two different types, right? So mine is main that stringer and the Go language one would be, you know, whatever package that is in um, stringer. Okay, so two different types, um, two different types. And um, of course, an interface is a type, right? So, and so now um, if I want to, I can in I'm either implementing so the question is which interface am I implementing am I implementing when I provide and I say I have a so where is the funk here F U N C. so when I provide a method called string that returns a string which matches exactly the method of this interface and then what do we say you see that's without this all that is is a method called a string that returns a string. Okay, that's all that is. But once I put the receiver on there, that says that, oh, what I'm doing, this is called a receiver. So we're saying, so this method receives this. And what I'm saying is now this method, this type implements this method. So person, the type here, implements this, met this interface because it provides a method definition for every method in this interface, right? And so since this interface only have one method, we provide one defi a definition for it. Okay, so that's fine. Well, if the stringer interface from the Go standard library also has this same signature, my question is, which one of those interfaces am I implementing? And the answer is, I'm implementing both. So long as my type provides method definition for all the methods in an interface, I'm implementing that interface. In other words, let's come up with that crazy interface called type some other stringer, just to show you what I mean. And I'm going to say interface, and I'm going to, I should just copy and paste this, but I'm going to go do that. So these two interfaces look the same, but of course, as we know from our old thing about type and name types, that they're two different types, but they're same interface. So here's a, um, a implementation. So my I can say that person implements this interface, it implements this interface, and, so it implements this one, just so we're clear. It implements this one, and it also implements the stringer interface from the standard package. And how do I know it does that? Well, here, um, fmt.println uses the stringer method, the stringer interface from the Go library. So that's going to print work. And also, I'm going to do is I'm going to create two functions here. I'm going to say func 
you use my stringer interface as you use main that stringer interface I can't put that but main stringer and this is a function that uses the um, stringer interface yeah come on stringer interface stringer right so that's my stringer interface here in the um, in the thing and we know that anything that passes in as a, as a stringer object I can call the string function on it right and I'll get back a string so I can do fmt that print f and I can say use ah, let me just I'm gonna do this and percent f percent backline and I'm gonna say s that string string okay so if I call this method use main stringer it's gonna print out use main stringer or actually does it say let's just do this this is a this is this object this is much better implements main that stringer interface okay and actually I can replace this by doing percent %t here and then just specifying s here because this is going to say what the type of s is in this place and so then I'm going to print out the value which is not a float s that stringer then string which is going to return to me the person you know this that value and so now I'll print it out using this well I told you that how that function actually implement or person type actually implement both interfaces so I'm gonna say let's use other stringer interface and that's also takes this and it's the other I just call it other stringer interfaces as opposed to some other uh, just too much type in unnecessary type in and same thing all right this object is going to implement that thing that other and you're going to see I'm going to be able to call because this one method and so this really reveals something very very powerful in Go language that you don't get in C++ or Java if I had two different interfaces in those languages I would have to say that my person implements this interface and that interface and of course even though both have the same method then I have to find a way to disambiguate them okay where and in Java you actually cannot implement two interfaces so a class can only implement one interface but we're not gonna get into that if you don't know Java but people know Java that's the case if you know C++ you know that how C++ you can implement multiple not interfaces but in C++ you can think an interface is an abstract base class okay but even if it's not even when you go to inherit from two classes, you can end up with this situation, which is the whole diamond problem in C++, and you have to find a way around that. But for everybody else, the important thing is to note that oh, here, person is going to implement these two interfaces, and they, the interfaces themselves has no in idea that they're being implemented by person, because it doesn't matter. All they specify is that I define that this function of this signature and if you the person have that function and a signature defined therefore you implement that interface okay so um, and so that's what we're gonna see here that it does implement both interface because we're gonna be able to call both of these function and so let's just do that so let's say use main and it doesn't matter the order I call it in and I'm gonna call it pass Bob and remember Bob and Jane are both persons and so um, I can, I'm gonna use Jane in one, and I use Bob in the other one. And so let's go over here now and go run main. And as you can see, this implements, well, okay. So I was expecting to see other stringer, um, other stringer here and I'm not see I don't see that as my type printed out. So why? Oh, actually, <laughs> sorry. 
what it's telling me is the type as opposed to the interface. Uh, my bad. So it's telling me the type of the object, which is the type of that object is a person. The type is not a stringer. The other stringer, what when we use the stringer interface here, all we're saying is that the object must implement that, but it's the object is still a person. So uh, sorry about that misleading um, thing. So this is a stringer and this is, so this, the interfaces always act as a contract. Okay, so we're gonna talk more about that in the next section. Um, so main, um, so main that stringer. Okay, and this is main that auto interface. And so as you can see, let's do it again. Run, and you can see I'm calling the two different um, methods. Okay, um, where is my back? Yep, my new line. I'm not getting, oh, I'm getting extra. So this is the extra thing being printed out thing being printed out and bam now interestingly when we try to um, when we put just comma s there because I'm using this s this printf function it um, here this s printf function right this printf function it took that type that I was trying to use and it says oh if it implements the string method, let me call it and get the value. So that's why we saw our value being printed out twice. So I really don't have to call the S string method on it. I can just literally do this only because remember, that's the point of implementing the stringer interface. The reason why I wanted to call it explicitly was to um, show you that um, once we implement an interface, we can use that interface to call the function, okay? Uh, let's um, okay. All right, so the output looks the same. That is because of the fact that we've implemented this. So now it is actually using the it is treating this by calling because we passed to the Go language um, standard um, print formatted package. It's calling this parameter using the stringer interface that is defined in the language. Does that make sense? So we can imagine inside of printf is actually calling s that string, but the interface there, it's really because it matches the stringer that the Go package and the fact that this implements that interface. Whereas here we could explicitly call it if we want, you know, um, how I had it before. So that also work, all those work important key takeaway here is that I have two interfaces and if you include the one from the Go package that are both defined the same way. So I now I have three interfaces and um, by simply put, providing this one implementation of that this, this method I have implemented I have implemented all three interfaces okay and I've demonstrated that here by one saying that oh, this function requires that whatever is passed in here, the object that's passed in here, implement the auto stringer interface and we can call this function. I've demonstrated that here by saying this method, this function requires that whatever is passed in the object that's passed in here all implements the stringer interface. And that is true. And here I've shown that when you try to print it out like this, you are calling the, the fact that you implemented the stringer interface from um, thing and we know that because if this did not when we go to get the value here if it did not call this function we wouldn't see our result printed out this way we would have seen it printed out the default way go does when it doesn't have a um, function which is you know I don't want to undo what I if I if I take this out now I wouldn't be able to call these functions but you get the idea all right so I'm not going to make this video very long. Um, this is just a quick um, thing to show you how to implement an interface. Very, very straightforward. We put a receiver. Basically, we put on the functions that the interface defines, and then we put a receiver for a type. We're going to talk a little bit more of this idea of a contract tomorrow um, with functions or interfaces enforces a contract. And all that means is that the interface is saying, I expect an object that 
for this interface meaning that I can call all these methods and that is a way to ensure that you get an object that satisfy that interface okay that contract all right so see you in the next video um, take care definitely if you have any questions or concern don't worry with the wiggly minds I've yet to figure out what to do there I'm gonna uninstall all my packages my um whatever that package is but whatever I'm gonna try something and see if I could get this to behave correctly because it's telling me that there are errors when there are no errors um, so this actually runs fine um, anyway um, thanks for your time see you in the next video and definitely if you have questions or concerns please let me know please continue to spread the word I would really like to spend more time doing more videos in on other subjects C, C++, assembly language big data, a whole bunch of other things that I find interesting. I would really like to be able to spend time doing videos on those. Okay, take care. Talk to you later. Bye.